Traffic accident caught on film for the first time in Australia. Roll camera, take one. Whoops. <laughs> OK, take two. Australia's film production industry has always been based on a desire to see our way of life up on the screen. This sequence was taken to induce these workers and their friends to attend Salvation Army fundraising screenings at the Port Melbourne Town Hall more than 80 years ago. There were just as many clowns and show-off in crowds then, but compulsory education doesn't allow kids of 11 or 12 to begin work in factories anymore. And some of those kids you'll see don't have shoes. Social services were only provided by radical community groups like the Salvos. And here the Salvos are making money in a new and novel way. The beginning of the sponsored documentary film. Filming hasn't progressed much from that Royal Visit film of 1901. They're still shooting from a single static camera position for the whole two and a half minutes of the film load in the camera. The sequence is ten times longer than any modern producer would dare show for fear of boring his audience. But a film made in the following year, 1906, would change all of these conventions. Two St Kilda chemists, Millard Johnson and William Gibson, provided technical facilities for the production of a story film by the theatrical firm of the Tate Brothers, the first of many versions of the story of the Kelly Gang. Only a few decaying sections of this 40-minute Kelly film survive today. The one you're about to see was sent into the offices of the magazine Cinema Papers in 1980.